today is Thursday for us and I have just sat down with a tea. It is actually late, it's like two o'clock. This morning has been really, really busy and I'm far more behind on things than I had hoped to be. Despite getting up early, it just, I don't know what happened. Um, I showered late, so I've got braids in my hair for the day because in winter I try, this is how I get my hair to be like not huge. Um, is I'll shower at night, braid it, sleep in it, and then it'll just be wavy. I think my kids are fighting. That also hasn't helped this morning. They've kind of been bickering because I've been making them clean. We're trying to get ready um, for tomorrow, which I will explain in a second. So yeah, basically, braid my hair. It makes it just wavy and, and keeps it from going crazy, especially in like bulky jackets and scarves. I find it just gets huge and frizzy really fast and this kind of tames the beast just a little bit. So like I said, I've just sat down for tea. I've got myself a little snack because as per usual, I've forgotten to eat lunch. It's two o'clock and then my belly was grumbling and I get really, I get like the shakes when I don't eat and I forgot and it just started happening when I was writing my to-do list. So time to eat. I've made myself a little bit of cheese and crackers and a clementine and of course a tea. And I think that's how I'm going to reward myself for getting everything done tonight. If I get everything done, I'm going to sit down with a tea and watch a Harry Potter movie. Sounds like a good time because I have to go to bed early tonight. I've been going to bed at like 12 or 1 o'clock every night. And I have to go to bed early because I have to be up at like 5.30 tomorrow morning. And I know Grayson's going to come into the bed in the night. And that's going to wake me up. So I have to, have to, have to try and get to bed by like 11 at the latest. At the latest. Just set you down for a second so I can actually enjoy my tea while it's still hot and talk to you at the same time because like I said, I'm super behind. I can't believe it's two o'clock. That always makes me feel kind of guilty when I know I've got a lot to do and it's somehow it's just the day is passing faster than I'm ready for it. Ugh. But it's okay. Whatever doesn't get done is it's fine. It'll be fine. So the reason that we are so busy is like I've mentioned before, Cody and I are going Black Friday shopping. So, this is the first year that we have actually gotten a babysitter for the day. Um, it's not a holiday here in Canada, and everybody works that we know, and we don't let very many people watch our kids. So, <laughs> and there's that. Um, but we've arranged Cody's sister to come, and we have her coming tomorrow. For the day we are leaving very early in the morning though we're leaving at like 6 30 in the morning so it's just gonna be a little hectic everything that I need prepped for tomorrow needs to happen today because I'm not gonna be able to obviously wake up a couple hours earlier to get everything ready uh, well I guess I could but no thank you so that is what's happening this is actually the first time she's watched the kids so it's kind of I'm a little nervous I know she'll do fine <laughs> and, and she'll be great she's really great with them but I'm just like, you know, just normal, a little, normally just a little bit nervous. I hope Grayson behaves because he can be, he can be such a handful sometimes. So I'm just trying to like make everything ready. I'm cleaning the house. I've got, I've just made a chicken soup and put that in the crock pot because I'm going to have that for dinner tonight. But then there's going to be so much extra that I figured that would be perfect for her just to reheat tomorrow. I want her to have like a really easy lunch to be able to just reheat that they can all eat. Um, I've got some fresh buns in the freezer, so that will be nice. Pull out a bag of buns. They'll have soup to reheat for lunch. Um, I think Cody's going to bring home breakfast tonight for tomorrow. And then I'm just going to make sure she knows where all of the snacks are because my kids eat us out of house and home and she's going to definitely need to know her way around the kitchen. So just things like that, making sure I have lots of games and stuff pulled out and crafts that they could do. Um, she really likes doing stuff like that. Making sure she knows how to work the TV and the computers and stuff to put movies on. Just little things like that. Um, and then I'm also trying to make sure I have everything ready to plan for tomorrow to actually shop and make sure I have a plan going in. And I'm just trying not to overwork myself because I don't want this to be stressful and that means I would like the evening after the kids go to bed to be free to just relax so that I don't get extra anxiety that I don't need. So that's my plan. This is so traffic. And then of course I have a lot of stuff I want to do, like 
I would really like to bake. I was supposed to bake yesterday, or I wanted to bake yesterday, but I just didn't get to it. So hopefully, maybe I can bake today. I just don't know if I'm going to fit it in. It's already 2 o'clock. Maybe if I can get everything done by 4, maybe I'll have time to bake. Hopefully. I'm going to bake some cookies, and Cody's really been asking for an apple crumble. So, going to try and do that. We'll see. We shall see. The nice thing is, when he gets home, he will help with a lot of the stuff. So, like, I'll probably leave the kitchen for him to do, and he'll handle that tomorrow. Which will make things way, way easier. I just like to try and stay organized so that nothing is going to surprise anybody. I just want to, like, have tomorrow be as smooth as possible and for the kids to have a really good day. Because I'm sure they're a little nervous, too. Actually, I do know they're a little nervous. Grayson, especially. Got this little guy set up with a movie and he's so tired. <laughs> He was just sleeping, so I gave him some popcorn. I'm trying to keep him awake because it is 3.30. Which is a terrible time for a nap. He doesn't normally nap, but he must be really tired. Um, we all have to go to bed early tonight so that we can wake up early. So I can't have him, have him napping and then wanting to be up till 11 o'clock. You crazy boy. <laughs> Remember how I said I was making soup? Well, I made it and something went wrong and it failed miserably. The noodles are like really yeah, weird. I don't love and them anymore. No, it's not good. Blech. And I don't know, it's just like I did it totally normal. Plenty of seasoning and flavorful things and it's just bland and it didn't work out. So I'm not even going to bother with that. So um, I was just brainstorming what to do for lunch for tomorrow for um, Cody's sister and the kids. And I'm just going to keep it simple, and I'm just going to leave buns and ham and cheese and all that type of stuff, and they can just make sandwiches with veggies and pickles on the side. So, I'm going to have to write down, though, exactly how they like their sandwiches, because Grayson's the kind of kid that'll be like, oh, I like this and this and this and this and this, and he will not eat any of it. So, whatever. Pizza to the rescue tonight. I've got frozen pizza in the, in the deep freeze, and so we've got a pizza in the oven saving the day. Saving dinner because sometimes you know, I'm a I feel like I'm a really good cook. I, I feel like I can say that um, But sometimes Things just don't work out and sometimes it's just not good and that's fine. It happens That's why we have backup plans. I'm always worried about food. I'm always worried about like feeding people I always have way too much like if people come over for dinner I always overfeed everybody cook way too much because I'm always wanting to make sure people have enough to eat don't know why, but that's always been my thing. When Dad gets home. <laughs> He's literally just laying on your leg. He's like, this is as close as I can get to you. Mm -hmm. Cody and I are watching... I'm just sitting by the fireplace because it's warm. We've been watching the cooking... Big Family Cooking Showdown, right? Is that what it's called? Move your head and I can read it. The yep. Big Family Cooking Showdown is a Netflix original. Yeah, about British, British families. Big cooking show. Cooking like, yeah, it's it's really yeah. good, really yeah. good. I love cooking shows, dude. Yeah. If you can't tell by how fat I'm getting, I just love food so much. <laughs> oh my god, stop. We are trying to gather a motivation because neither of us want to clean. Oh and my god, I want to die. We have an, There's an entire kitchen to clean and the floor needs to be swept and I'm foregoing laundry. End of my life, dude. But we have to be up at 5.30? Yeah, 5.30. I'm greasy. 
so then you have to be up at 5.30 at the latest. I didn't have time to shower yesterday when I got home because I had to go to D&D. Right. Well, we're going to have to make sure we're up. Like, we have to make sure... If the kids wake up when we're up, we're going to have to make sure we can, like, get them ready. Plus, I have to do my makeup Mm -hmm. and everything. Well. R.I.P., dude. We better get started. Oh, her elbows. Razor blades. Right in there. What? What's going on? They will just sleep like that if you let them. So, we're just hanging out and trying to find motivation that's not there. I don't got any, my dude. We're going to have to make some. There's none to be had. <laughs> like, we know tomorrow's going to be really tiring, so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, like, hold her, knee- her elbows up. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> come what do you call it? It's not an elbow. What it's do you a- call, like, the, like, the part way at the top? Of this the part. Thing? Her, that's her ankle, right? Because isn't this an oh. entire foot? Isn't this whole... No, is this just a foot or is this whole thing a foot? It's like, that would be the equivalent of her elbow. That's the elbow. There. Like, like, oh, Carly. Does it, is it called an elbow? She's or a like, big it, suck. Oh, thank dog you. dog names? Or is it just like dog elbow? She's so rude. She's going to scratch the fuck out of those glasses. She is. I have to watch. I have to hold her paws. Otherwise, she'll scratch my glasses. She likes to pet people's face. face. She's just trying to pet Are you on back. camera? Do you like to watch yourself on the TV, Carly? Yes. Your breath smells like bottles. I love you. Stop. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Carly. Yeah. All right, we found some motivation. I've just gone to go put baby wipes in my purse and give baby wipes to Cody. I'm splitting a pack, but I broke it. And so I'm going to make a new one. It's a book bag. I'm using this. Got my hot glue gun out again. Hopefully it works. You're going to start filming so I can pause my podcast so the sounds aren't contradicting. That's fine. Whatever. Well, now it's paused. It was just quick. I'm just going to end it anyway. Um, like, my hair is so greasy and gross. I need to go have a shower as soon as I'm done this because, like, I'm itchy in, like, a gross way. And I just That's hate so myself gross. right now. Well, that makes me sound like a dirty man. No, it's because I put product in my hair yesterday before okay. I went to D&D. So, like, it's, like... Like old, right? And you haven't been not home. Not gel, but whatever the hell it is I use. The uh, you use foam. Like, yeah, he hasn't been home enough to have oh, a shower like, yet. I just feel itchy. This is the first time you've been home in like twenty four hours, for an extended period of time. What you can't see is I'm naked under here. No, he's not. Stop. You're gonna make. Rainbow, leave it up to the viewers' imagination. This is how we get views. No, this is how we get flagged. Yeah. YouTube's dumb now. <laughs> Worth. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I'll let you know if this works in a second. Okay, so, I think it worked. That probably looks better than a baby container for Cody's uh, D&D maps anyway. Probably. To pull out. Maybe I will actually clean those. Right, Good. so. My one criticism that I have of John's store is really bad paper towels. He has oh. like those brown paper ones. Right. That basically like, like paper. Yeah. You could print something on them. That's so right. So you're trying to like wash a mat with marker with those things like they, they do not work well yeah that's fair so okay get so better markers john we're gonna finish up hey, it's not like you watch these well you better <laughs> um we're gonna finish up tidying up and i'm gonna go start or i'm gonna go edit this and upload it tonight and then like post it in the morning so that we can dip out of here real early so I'm going to say goodbye now. So thanks for hanging out. It was a little bit of a random day. Very busy for us. So like, I don't know how much I got filmed. So that's okay. Tomorrow's going to be fun. Cody and I get a date day. Are you so excited? I'm very excited. Good. I'm excited. Okay. We're going to go. We got to go to bed soon. Probably going to go finish watching our cookie show and then go to bed. No, I'm going to go shower. We're done. Go After your shower. Soon. Do you want to finish this episode though? No. No? No. You can finish it while I go shower. Okay. Tell me one. Okay. I'll do that. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.